Hello everyone and welcome back to the 50th annual Sun and Fun International Expo and Fly-In coming to you live and in the clear from the Central Florida Aerospace Academy. And we are in Lakeland, Linder International Airport. The Sun and Fun campus has grown and is sprawling, morphing. It's uh, changing and all to the good. And as Gene Conrad says, the first 50 <clears throat> he thinks is going to be better the last or the next 50 and the 50 beyond, but uh, we hope to be here for that, uh, but we do have a lot of young folks that will be here to enjoy our, uh, our next 50 years uh, at, the, at this facility in the, uh, in the airport area. It's going to look a little different, but we're going to be here. And uh, speaking of young people that are going to be here for the next, I don't know, we call them Gen A coming up rather than the Gen Zs, but uh, we do have uh, one of the most premier youth education uh, opportunities that I that I, I can imagine. A person here to help us speak with that is the public information, uh, public affairs, public information officer for the Civil Air Patrol, Sebrian Kassman. Sebrian. Hello. Thank you for joining us here on the Florida Aviation Network. Sebrian, we have known each other for many years. Yes, we have. And I have watched the Civil Air Patrol grow. I am a member of mm -hmm. senior staff. Yes. And the Florida wing is very, very dynamic. And uh, we actually have a new wing commander. We do. And uh, he unfortunately wasn't able to join us, but we get the opportunity to speak with you. But uh, what's he off doing today? He is a pilot for Jeff Blue, and he was expecting to be here, but he got put on standby. And then he got called to fly. So he's up, up flying right now, probably. Another duty called. Another duty called, but, uh, absolutely. And what is this gentleman's name? Uh, Colonel Dave Panzera, and he just took command of Florida Wing on Saturday. Mm -hmm. So he's our brand new wing commander and he's looking forward to bringing a new motivation, energy, and dynamic to the wing. And I think we're all looking forward to this next term. Good. So, Colonel Dave. Colonel Dave. Colonel Dave, we're going to give you a pass on this one, but uh, we look forward to talking to you at one of these other events and, and soon. But uh, Sebring, tell us uh, what is new with, because uh, we, it would be, uh, it would be uh, not really fair of me because I know I know too much but I'm gonna to try to play dumb but uh, l let me give a segue to you uh, Civil Air Patrol is one of the most premier organizations to help our youth find the, the decorum the the discipline the the awareness and it's the closest thing to being in the military without actually signing up and up and for four years in the military but there's an awful lot of folks that go out of Civil Air Patrol right into the military. Sebring, tell us a little bit about that. Well, cadets joined the program and they... Sorry, I don't understand. She yes, doesn't you do. understand. She does understand now. I had to, okay. You said Siri. So, Sorry, she thought you said Siri. No, no. So kids can join at 12 years old and they can stay in, people can stay in for their entire lives. Mm -hmm. We do not push the young, our youth members into the military. Mm -hmm. We are part of the Air Force Total Force, volunteer civilian. Mm -hmm. So that's great in it. So we get to augment some things for them. And uh, we do the search and rescue as assigned by the Air Force mm -hmm. uh, Rescue Coordination Center. But the youth members, they have an amazing opportunity we have scholarships, we have programs for them to get their uh, private pilot's <laughs> license. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have acad flight academies, but we also have leadership academies. Mm -hmm. We have STEM academies. And it, it is amazing to see what these young men and women are doing and how they develop and grow as leaders and individuals. Mm -hmm. Well, and that's where a, a number of folks that I have, that I know in the military, they got their start in the, in the Civil Air Patrol. And, and that's why I, I mentioned that is if there are young folks that do have that, that desire to go to the military, cut your teeth with, with this organization mm -hmm. and it will put you on a fast track 
to whatever career op opportunities or career goals that you have. But, and, yes. and, the, and another thing, Sebring, I don't think people realize that when you go down in an aircraft for any reason, mm -hmm. who's going to be there to help find you? The Civil Air Patrol for called out to do it. That's right. Yes. That's right. So we're uh, definitely and, out there. And you, uh, how many pilots do you have operating with you guys now? Uh, nationwide? Rough, roughly. Roughly. Florida Wing, um, I'd say we have around, I can't remember. That's okay. Wow. That's a good question. Let me see if we, if I have it on my list here. And we have 349 air crew members plus. I think okay. at, at this point we probably have more like 400 plus because the number I have here is from COVID. Well, uh, I would like to see that yeah. being around five or 600. We would love to see that five or 600. Um, now our air crew includes pilots, aerial photographers, scanners, observers, observers. And scanners. Yes, but um, it, it's really important that we have people in all of those positions. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And of course, many of our pilots also are cadet orientation flight pilots. Mm -hmm. So that's a very important introductory for the cadets into flying. O flights. So, Yes, O oh, flights, orientation flights. That's cool. Yeah. Uh, Sabre, where is the headquarters for the Civil Air Patrol uh, Florida Wing? Yeah, it's right here at the Sun and Fun campus. So it's it's a great location for us to be in because this is such a hub of aviation activity. So. And during the event, Sun and Fun in general, what does the Civil Air Patrol do? We assist with guest safety, particularly on the taxiways. Mm -hmm. During the show, we have helped with um, <clears throat> keep uh, when you're setting up. We help with the setup with the vendor areas, mm -hmm. but mostly the, our biggest focus is safety. Yeah, yeah, marshalling aircraft. We do marshal aircraft, and that still falls into the safety area. But sure. safety is, is of course, you know, we have a set, huge safety culture, and it lends very well to what we do out here. So. And uh, uh, is it uh, Colonel uh, Zildanik? Colonel Zildanik, yes, he's out here. He's with Civil Air Patrol. Um, he is our our Civil Air Patrol Sun and Fun liaison, and he's also Sun and Fun's chairperson for outdoor exhibits. So he's out here working both areas. You know, I remember, I, and I can affectionately call him Phil, and he yes. he does like being called Phil. But, uh, mm -hmm. I still like to call him. Colonel, yes. but uh, I remember when he retired, and he uh, he was so glad to retire mm -hmm. uh, that he has more time now to donate and dedicate to the Civil Air Patrol, and he is a fine, fine example. And there's yes. there's many, many fine examples with the organization. Mm -hmm. But uh, tell us, did you guys have anything to do with the Hurricane Irene? Uh, Ian, Ian, absolutely, we did. Uh, our we started off, of course, with our what we call our safe haven operations to move our aircraft and our ground vehicles out of the way of the storm, but in such a way that they're easily accessible afterwards as soon as possible. We were put um, into action in less than 24 hours after the storm went through. Mm. We had air crews up. They are taking photography of the areas where the storms hit so that um, we do that for the state, FEMA. And that's for direct uh, ground crews where there was hot spots or... We all had, so had ground crews out. They were doing the ground photography and we were using a 3D mosaic type of camera that gives them a panoramic. It's really mm -hmm. cool from both the air and the ground. Mm -hmm. So we had uh, one, one ground team crew went out, I want to say for 12 days straight, out of our Clearwater Composite Squadron. Mm. And they were out every single day. And they saw firsthand all of the destruction over in the Sarasota, Fort Myers area. And they said it was absolutely devastating. Yeah. But um, what they really said they encountered, people would come up to them just to talk to them because they just wanted a human connection and to know that life was still normal outside of their immediate area. Mm -hmm. It was really important to these people to connect and they came up to them. 
something else about um, Hurricane Ian. You mentioned our, I believe our SUAS drones. One of our mission drone teams was out and they were able to locate a man trapped in a boat and they were able to save him. Get, they, when they locate him, they were able to go in and, and rescue, mm -hmm. send rescue crews in so that we got, were able to save a life. Well, wow. awesome. And, and really, they're, they're really, when you stop and think, there's really no higher calling if you can actually save a life. And you get saves, uh, and, and when you say 12 straight days, I don't know if the general audience can understand the, uh, just how, how much that drains not only you personally, your, your private life, but these folks are dedicating mm -hmm. their life. I mean, and the, the, the pay is the save. Yes. That real, when they get to a save. <laughs> and, yeah. and serving. Um, yeah, that's, that's a really huge portion of it. I was thinking about something that was related to that, and it just slipped right away. It'll come back I don't to remember. You. Yes, that's I will. because there's so much going there's on in that so plate. Much. Every now and then it slips off. It but does. It'll come back. It does. But that was a very significant uh, mission for us, and it, the teams were very dedicated. They, they were gone all the time. I know what it was. Some of our team members were personally affected, their homes their businesses yeah. and yet when they were asked to come out and serve and do these tasks so that other people could benefit because we check you know, air infrastructure what needs mm -hmm. attention mm -hmm. what areas were hit the hardest mm -hmm. so that they can start getting aid to those areas that that means a lot when our people actually put that aside to do these things for others <sighs> Sebring, I, I think if people, the, the general public, knew mm -hmm. more about how much the Civil Air Patrol does, the auxiliary to the United States Air Force, mm -hmm. and the information on your website, I'm, it takes a lot to impress me. I'm a hard sell, but I'm impressed because the website, it's very succinct, uh, it's secure. And uh, I really encourage folks to go uh, to the GoCivilAirPatrol.com, and uh, that will be dropped in. Yeah. Uh, oh, there it is, as a matter there of fact. There it is, uh, right But there. It, it, it's worth a few clicks to go if you've never done it. And uh, what is the best <laughs> form of advertising? Oh, word of mouth and done. our members. Done. So. See, a, a true uh, PIA, PIA here. Word of mouth, and because unless we're talking about it, we're not going to be doing it. And no. and but we, we want to talk this up, the growth, and uh, there's over thirty thousand cadets nationwide that we know most, of today. Most definitely, absolutely. And uh, Florida Wing. Florida Wing, we have over seventeen hundred right now and growing. Okay. We've been in a recovery phase since COVID, and. Our numbers are back now to our pre-COVID numbers, but we're not, there's no end in sight. We are adding new squadrons in the state because there is a demand for this program. And it's, it's quite amazing to see the growth. We have well over 70 local squadrons now mm -hmm. in the state of Florida wow. and more are, are planned and will be opening up. So it's, it's a very exciting time and not only and we talk about how the, the kids get so much out of the program, the adults do too. Because I came into the program three months after my son, mm. he, he joined when he was 12. He's still a member, mm. even though he's aged out of the cadet program. But when you come in, you find that the kids aren't the only ones who get something great to do. The adults do too. There's so many things we can do. We, you can support the cadet program. You don't have to have prior military experience. Mm -hmm. you, you can just come in, you can support that. You can learn how to do the things that need to be done to, to work, the disaster response and search and rescue. We train you and it's, it's so much fun. We work hard, but we have a great time doing it. Mm -hmm. And if you are involved with the cadet program, to watch these, because I've been in long enough now, been in since 2011, that I've seen kids join at 12 and go on to 
their careers through college, start in the military, start families. Mm -hmm. I mean, seriously. Um, it is just great to see what they do and what they're accomplishing. And most of them credit what they learned here help them in their lives to succeed. So it, it's phenomenal. Well, the, the foundation is there and it's, and again, it's the discipline. Yes. And the, uh, and it's, and a lot of folks maybe don't appreciate the fact that uh, they're part of such a large group, but they're so small in their, in their mission focus. Because it's very specific. And, uh, it is. And I, I really, I challenge, I have a challenge, I have a gauntlet I'll throw out there to review the audience. I challenge you to make it to the level of getting a Form 5 accomplished for you. That's for pilots. That's for pilots. But That's uh, for pilots. Form 5. I'm mm -hmm. not going to tell you what it is. I'm going to drive you to the website and you're going to find out what a Form 5 is. And when you make it to that level, you've accomplished something. You certainly and, have. Uh, it, it, when you do make it, you'll stay for a while. You really will, and uh, it, I, I don't know of anyone that can get kind of bored or uh, yeah. th th there's never, if you have time that you want to dedicate to a worthy organization, do it to the Civil Air Patrol. <coughs> and uh, they, they will welcome you, and uh, I just, the, I, I don't know of any other way to put it that it's such a rewarding experience. And whenever yes. you see someone out uh, in the public and in, in their uh, in their organizational garb, if you will, uh, thank them uh, because they do a service for you, and it's it is a very service driven organization. Mm -hmm. And uh, congratulations, by the way, on your squadron. Yes, um, I do have another hat besides public affairs, and I am a squadron commander. Uh, I've been a squadron commander before, and I was fortunate enough to have this opportunity because these young men and women are, like I said, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. And the things they come up with and create, they decided they have a voice in how we run the unit. And they have a voice in you know, what content we are putting into our meetings. Mm -hmm. So they are leading. We as adults mentor them but they're leading, and the team that we have in, the cadet team we have in right now, just a phenomenal group. Um, two of those cadets have just, just were presented their Mitchell last night by the Florida Wing Commander, <laughs> and they were very excited to have him there. Mm -hmm. And our squadron received um, our group level, this Florida is broken into nine groups, group level uh, squadron, uh, cadet squadron of the year for group eight, so. Oh. It's quite an accomplishment, but the cadets are the ones that really make that group award happen. So I can't speak highly enough. Mm -hmm. so. well, and, and the seniors, the seniors really do. Mm -hmm. uh, they're, they're to be commended for the time and effort they put into it. Yes. And it's not for the money. It's for the love and the romance. <laughs> and, uh, and there's a lot of romance in aviation. Yes, uh, there is. It's a very passionate industry. And we do, we do have to, uh, to pay homage to that from time to time. But, mm -hmm. uh, and again, uh, Sebring, as we kind of wind this down, any parting thoughts that you'd like to share with us? Oh. Uh, just succinctly. Yes. Well, if you are looking for a volunteer organization, pilots, we would love to have you join us. But remember, we train everybody but the pilots unfortunately we don't get that that training unless you're a kid but we need more adults to help lead these cadets and to help with our programs it, it is a great great thing to do and you will enjoy it so yeah, it, it really mm -hmm. is and, uh, in the foul weather you're inside training yes uh, in the good weather you're outside doing yes. and uh, that's that, that's the the really fun part of it yeah. it is it's, it's the doing aspect. Mm -hmm. Sebring, thank you so much for joining us here thank in the you. Florida Aviation Network. Thanks. And uh, we're going to sign this off and get to another interview. Maybe not as exciting and dynamic as the Civil Air Patrol, but uh, nonetheless, we'll see you next interview. Take care. Mm -hmm.